Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the recent Adcoder contest. It was an Adcoder beginner contest uh, number 200, I think 202. So, uh, I, I'm going to solve problem A, B, and C today. I did solve A and B only in contest, but I just recently do problem C. So, without further ado, let's just do the question. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, uh, this is problem A, 3 dice. Uh, as usual, if you want to do the question first, feel free to pause this video. Okay, so this question is easy. You just need to think how many is the I mean the sum of all faces minus a B and C so uh, if a standard cubic die has a uh, sum of the opposite of the numbers on opposite faces is, is 7 then it means that it's 3 times 7 21 because there are 6 faces and two faces equal seven so three times seven and then 21 minus as i said before a b and c it's pretty easy so let me see my solution yeah only like this and then let's just do a problem b okay you may pause the video if you want to Okay, so uh, another easy question. We just need to do what the question told us to do. Just simply reverse the string and then replace 6 and 9 and 9 and 6. Because if you notice 0, 0, 1, 1 and 8, 8, they don't change. So like this. Example, uh, this should be 9 here. And then change to 6, 8, 8. 1 0 and then 6 should be here uh, but change it to 9 because the question told us to do so and that's pretty much it okay so let's just see my solution so this is it we we input string and then reverse it and then if this it is 6 then change it to 9, if 9, change it to 6, and then print it, pretty easy, and now it's problem C, yeah, okay, so problem C is a bit interesting, uh, I thought it was like a binary search or two-pointer problems, but it turns out that it was not, my friend told me it was just a normal implementation problem, but you cannot do it with uh, n squared time complexity because otherwise you will get the array. So, if you want to do the question, feel free to pause this video. Okay, so uh, if you don't get it, I will just simply show you the code that I made and I will analyze each line. So, the uh, we make integer n and then take the input and then we make vector and then as usual we input uh, and then we make uh, and we decrement i because zero indexing that's what my friend told me uh, and then we make vector count we should make vector count elements to zero all of them and then in this part this is like uh, the name show it is a counter so like if b c i but i'm sorry like uh if b c i is like a certain value and then if the value 
uh, comes again it will add one like for example if there are two 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 then it is four so we store it like count two like it's in in index two there are four it means that if uh, bci is two then there are four four of four of bci two like the occurrence and then we make a long long answer because it won't fit in integer uh, at some test cases and then we make for integer i and blah 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 and then this part is answer like if there if this is the same so basically this should be the same index so we just need to count how many occurrence it has so basically if i said before 2 then a i is 2 then it is 4 if a i is something else then it is 0 because we do not know the value or maybe we have another value or something and then we print the answer so it is accepted all of them without tle or something okay so i think it's all for today's video it's a really interesting contest uh, the problem c was quite hard for me because i'm not really good at coding sometimes i don't know why but yeah uh, thank you guys for watching my video i hope to see you guys soon uh, be sure to like and subscribe this video goodbye